Have you ever wondered why most New Year's resolutions do not see the light of February? As we bid farewell to one year and welcome another, we are often imbued with a sense of hope, a belief in limitless possibilities. We imagine that every goal is achievable, every wrong is forgivable, and the past is safely tucked away beyond our reach. This New Year euphoria often spurs us to make resolutions, some of which, let's face it, are baseless solutions concocted in the heat of our enthusiasm. Over time, unfulfilled resolutions breed a certain indifference, a scoffing at the whole idea of making resolutions. Yet the issue is not with resolutions themselves. The problem lies not in the act of setting goals but in our approach towards them. The failure of a business approach does not render the entire business useless, just as being bad at fishing does not mean fishing is a waste of time. The issue isn't with resolutions themselves but with our approach towards them. Our first strategy to overcome this problem is to set clear objectives. Now, why is this important? Well, let's consider this. More often than not, our focus tends to drift towards the struggle rather than the end goal, the objective. This misplaced focus can often lead to discouragement and ultimately, failure. Think about it in terms of heading to the gym. If your objective is simply to go to the gym, that's quite vague, isn't it? But if you shift your objective to something more specific like to lose 10 pounds in two months or to run a mile in under eight minutes, you have a clear, measurable goal. You know exactly what you're working towards, and this clarity can help drive you forward, even when the going gets tough. So remember, when setting your objectives, be specific, make them measurable, and ensure they're achievable. The clearer your objectives, the more likely you are to stay on track. Our second strategy involves a crucial ingredient we often miss out on, accountability. Discipline is the backbone of consistency, and in order to cultivate discipline, we need to hold ourselves accountable. But what does it mean to be accountable? It's about taking responsibility for our actions and decisions and understanding the consequences that follow. It's about owning our failures and successes alike. Let's take saving money as an example. You've set a goal to save more this year. To hold yourself accountable, you should review how much you've spent each month. Keep a gradual track of your progress, and you'll be surprised at the momentum you gain. Knowing your expenses allows you to make informed decisions, to either cut back or earn more. Accountability is not about punishing ourselves for past mistakes, but about learning, adapting, and improving. Once you start tracking your progress, you'll find new momentum to continue. The third strategy is about the most essential factor that determines whether a goal is achievable or not. Time. Time, my friends, is the X factor. Everything becomes possible with time. Thus, how you allocate your time will ultimately determine the achievability of your set goals. Imagine a scenario where you've set a goal but got the time factor wrong. What happens then? Your goals become unrealistic. They may even seem out of reach like a mirage in a desert. Similarly, if there's no time allocation, no schedule for what you do every day, every two weeks, every month, and so forth, your goal becomes what I like to call immortal. It's always there, but never achieved. This is why time allocation is crucial in your goal-setting process. It's like a roadmap guiding you towards your destination. Without it, you're merely wandering. Remember, progress takes a long time to materialize suddenly. So take your time and establish something concrete. So, how are we going to be consistent? keep that same energy till the end of the year, and actually do what we know we should do. Let's recap. First, we have clear objectives. Remember, the vaguer your objectives, the more likely you are to falter. Define what you want to achieve with precision. Next, we have accountability. It's not enough to have discipline. You need to hold yourself accountable for your actions. Keep track of your progress, review it regularly, and find new momentum to continue. Then we have time allocation. Nothing is achievable without proper time management. Your time allocation will determine whether your set goal is achievable or not. So, it's not about discarding the whole idea of resolutions but changing your approach towards them. Remember, progress takes time to materialize suddenly. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. At the end of the day, it won't be about how long it took, it will be about how long it lasts. Choose deeper roots first, taller trees will follow. 